What makes a good Discord server? A lot of people struggle with this topic. When you're setting up a Discord server, you're quite likely to do how I kind of have mine and everything with text channels and then voice channels and leave it at that. Like, don't add any other categories. It's as simple as clicking three dots, scrolling down, and clicking create category. That is something you are going to want to use. It is something that is very simple to use and is very nice when you organize it properly. Now, um, I, I am working on my channel because this is honestly just not it. You, you know, it's a whole list of channels. That's better when you organize it, right? However, you don't want to go overboard. And let me show you what I mean by that. If I go over to here and everything, let me just do this, do this, 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 this. This and everything. And because there's so many people here and everything, there's a lot. Look at this. It's server status, which it makes sense you have a thing for that, right? I understand that. But then, it's literally the name of the thing, which it then has all these different things. Okay. We have a shop, then blessings, then contact us. Do you want and everything? And so basically we have um, server status, the main stuff, a shop, blessings, contact us, about like the actual members, not there, about members and everything. Uh, a couple fun things, lounge, entertainment, uh, uh, yeah, quota and aota. I don't really know how to pronounce that, so hopefully I pronounced it properly. Art. Uh, partners type of thing, uh, bots, confessions, then gaming, Genshin Impact, Honkai Impact, then music and voice channels, and then room VCs. What do you think I can say is wrong with this channel? It's misorganized and it has too many topics. Okay, like contact us and here. Okay, about us rules server guide. That makes sense to be in here. Announcements, useless announcements, staff intro, blacklist, and applications, and invites. Invites, I feel like, should any anything to do with a staff member, like something that only staff can can uh, access now stuff intro I understand that being a thing but that should be more the contact us or you could put it in the about you page and just make it an about page you know a blacklist why do we need to know who is a in blacklist and whatnot we don't that can that should be in a separate thing for staff only. Why do we need useless announcements? Well, it's it's okay. It makes sense. About us makes sense. Rules make sense, and server guide makes sense. Okay. Why do you need a specific thing for a shop though? Like it's literally just one thing in here. What's the point? Blessings. How am I supposed to know what this is until I actually take a look at it? Like, I don't, I, I don't even by reading it and everything until I open it up and like, oh, this is what it is. It also doesn't help when you have something like this and everything that's empty and everything. Like, it's empty, it has no meaning, it doesn't have any, like, it has nothing. And it also should, I don't really think blessings and donations should be in the same area. Because you're talking about stuff to do with levels and boosters, and then donations. How does that work? Um, plus, if I go over, I don't know where it is. Somewhere on here, they have a thing to bump. 
uh, their thing. I feel like those would go perfectly well together, you know? About you self roles? Why is there self roles in the about you? Like, I understand you need a place to put it, but I feel like that would be put in more of the, like, the main area, because that's your roles that you can do. Intros, that makes sense, but I feel like staff intros and intros should be around in the same area. Color, yet again, that's basically just changing the color of your name. That can go with self-roles in the main area. At, like, the bottom of the main area, yes, but in the main area. Happy birthday... Okay, that should also go in the main area. Boosters! Here, here, the, here, here it is. Why does it have to be separate? I feel like donations and boosters should go closer. It makes sense. Fun, lounge, and entertainment. Okay, we got polls, events, giveaways, starboard, star of shame, supporters, and happiness quiz in fun. Okay, why is events in fun? Why are polls in fun? Why is a giveaway in fun? It doesn't make sense. Supporters, I feel like that would probably go better if you have that with the about you area. Like, honestly, if you kept it like the way it is, put it in the about you area. Happiness quiz, that makes sense. Lounge, chats, okay, that would make sense. Spam, media, selfie, pet pics, countdown, counting. Those make sense. Why is it entertainment is separate? What's the point of it? We got entertainment with music, unpopular opinions, another happiness quiz thing. Oh, and then a simp channel. Like, I feel like you could probably just make the entertainment and lounge go together and everything. And what I mean by that, I mean basically put the unpopular opinions with the lounge, the music with the music stuff down here, and then get rid of this happiness quiz or put it with the other one. Like, you know, it makes no sense. Like, stuff like that doesn't make sense. Now... That is for too many different things. You also don't want too little. Not here. Where is it? Where is it? Is it this one? No. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do one, um, and this is just because I haven't set it up properly yet. But I feel like this is a little too little amount, you know? Like you can see if 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 you can if it's four different things information home vcs and server service okay now some organization and also a lot of things need to be added this is still being worked on though <laughs> which is actually what i'm probably going to do right after i post this video anyway because i'm the one who's supposed to be working on this <laughs> um but, you know, it's very small amounts. It's hard to misinterpret, but it's also really hard to do what, it, what you need to do. And another thing I would like to mention, which they already know about this, is when you make a thing, especially, like, it's something like rules, you do not want anyone to be able to message in it. Just saying. It, it will let me chat. I'm a normal member. I literally joined this Discord, like, this discord server like not even 30 minutes ago you know however i do like the way that they did this i feel like it'd probably be best if they did like an indent between numbers just so that way it stood out a little bit more but you know it works quite well so yeah those are kind of my tips for when you're making a discord server and everything just make it actually be organized make it not look too much you don't want too little though like here let me go to a more popular one which is probably why it looks amazing we have sunday let, i'm gonna take sundays as an example here okay now obviously this looks like a lot 
but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different topics, right? Now, it, if you can find out how to do forms or you can do and everything, and doing events and doing a home is also very good too when you can do it. It can be very, very useful. So if you can do it, it is best if you can get those top three. And I want to figure out how to do it. And when I figure out how to do it, I will be implementing it. Um, if I can figure it out, though. But, you know, it's normally best if you do that. Um, also, I would like to also do one more thing. Let me go to my test one here. Doing a verification is always amazing. Now, I have a specific thing for reaction roles bot and everything. It is best if you end up uh, doing a reaction role for it. And it's the same thing if you want to do like specific roles. Like if you want someone to be able to do their a color red and everything as their username, like they want red or they want pink or whatnot, this is also a good idea. Just make sure not to go overboard with the amount of things that you do because when you do a million of them, you might as well just try and find a different bot. And also, by the way, as you can kind of see, I have a test channel. Make one. It is very helpful. Okay? You can experiment. Look at how many different bots I have on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine right now. This is just right now. Test your things out before putting them in your main Discord. Test it out yourself. Unless someone else is putting it in. If someone else is putting it in, then that's fine. But you're going to want to know how to set it up too. Because if you notice, I have two reaction rolls bot. This one did not work well. As much as it made the reaction roll, it was having issues actually giving me the roll. This one, however, I was able to make work better. So just play around with it before you put it in as well. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to give. Please, when you make your Discord servers and everything, please, for the love of God, actually use them. And use them properly, because the better you make your Discord server, the more people who will want to join it. Which is also why I'm going to be fixing my Discord server, because it really needs fixed. I, I have yet to finish it. Eventually, I will finish it, though. So, yeah. Don't do what I'm doing. Don't take forever. Like, if, if, if you're... Okay. What I'm doing isn't the end of the world, because I'm, I'm at the beginning of my of my stuff and everything, I don't have many people trying to join it. The main people I have joining from it is because I went live on Twitch. You know? Like, if I go to the one that I just recently joined, they're higher than me on on YouTube. Like, they have like 300 subscribers or so. Two to 300, somewhere in between there. This is how many people they have. They have one mod, they have the owner, and then they have two actual members and then a bot that's it so one you, it's one of those things that you you want to you can spend as long as you want to do things at the beginning once you get later though you want to get it done if it is not already okay just thought i would say that